Welcome back to another video. I'm just going to talk you through what I've done with the supercharger. So if we go around here, you'll see it hasn't got a standard supercharger pulley. I don't know the true spec of it, but I will put that in the description. So basically to put this pulley on, because this originally had the clutch, the magnetic clutch that kicks in and out, basically when you pull away and stop. I don't know if it's for efficiency or what, but mine started rattling, so I thought it's time to replace. So I thought why not upgrade it and get rid of the clutch. So I had to use a pulley to get, get it all off. And as you, I don't know if you can quite see, you can see the bolts on the front that you have to do in to put all that on. So you basically totally get rid of the other bit. And then the actual clutch bit, which has the electric, electric bit, like the electric magnet bit, I actually moved over here. Let me just give that a little, little clean, it's filthy. So I moved that over here. Because first of all, I tried getting rid of that, which meant unplugging this cable here which goes to it and what I found was the car would work but it wouldn't come on boost so I obviously needed something to tell the computer what was going on for some reason and I plugged it in plugged the cable back in there and bang car was back to back to normal and running better because it had a bit more boost in the supercharger so a bit more power so if you do uprate that and it does have the clutch one with the magnetic clutch you must keep that cable plugged in but just relocate the actual bit there so i run the cable as you can see up the back and that is the actual bit that went in the middle and you have the clutch around the outside and that's just the magnet that tells the clutch when to stick but also doing that the belt, I did put some new belts on this, um, but I just went for the standard one because the clutch, uh, sorry, the pulley wasn't that much smaller. It was enough smaller to make make a difference, obviously, in power, maybe another 20, 30 horsepower. I don't know, I've not dyno tested it, but it definitely feels more responsive and obviously the supercharger is working all the time because before that will basically, it will spin basically like an AC compressor that bit the belt would go round and the middle bit would stay still but now I've got rid of the clutch bit it moves constantly and I'll show you that in a minute and I also did upgrade the fuel pressure regulator that's a Bosch I think it's a three bar or four bar but obviously I'll put it in the description anyway so you can see what it is so I've got no codes at all on the management system I mean, it does run the old management system, the old round port thing, but I've got the adapter so I can read those codes. So I've done that. So what I do now is I start it up and I'll show you it all working. As you see, as I said, it's constantly running. No lag, no clutch problems ever gonna happen again. It's just constant running. So you've got power from the start. As you can see, everything's working with no ill effect. And it's a great modification. And it gives you more power. Well worth the mod. But as I said, make sure you keep that plug connected. That is located down there originally, 
So you do literally have to totally relocate it. And I took the airbox out, fed the cable underneath the airbox. Now, as I said, you can see it coming out here to so this. And see, that doesn't make any difference. Car runs fine. So that is my video on the suit on the supercharger for the upgrade. I'll try and put some links into where I got it from stuff because I think I do have some information on it. And uh, you can check it out and it's definitely well worth doing, especially if you've got the clutch one, if you want a little bit more power, or the clutch isn't working anymore. So instead of having to try and get hold of a new bit, or it's gonna be quite expensive, you could get this and just totally do away with it. Well worth doing. As you see, it does run fine. Thanks for watching this video. Like and comment, any questions about it, I'm happy to help. Thank you, cheers, bye.